Moctezuma gave the Spanish his father's palace as their quarters and ordered his citizens to bring them presents of food and gold. The Spanish settled into the city as guests of Moctezuma, but they were always on the lookout. After a short time, the Spanish discovered an enormous cache of gold, Moctezuma's father's treasures. This ignited a frenzy among the Spanish. At our great feast for our god, Huitzilopochtli, the Spanish fell upon us. They slammed the doors shut and hacked at us, severing heads, arms, and legs. They slashed others in the abdomen so that their entrails fell to the ground and the victims tripped on them as they tried to run away. A thousand of our bravest nobles died. We were outraged because the attack had been so treacherous. So we picked up our arms and decided to fight. We drove the Spanish mercilessly from the city, killing their men and horses, taking their weapons and the precious gold looted from our emperor's treasury. We had beaten the Spanish, but then they unleashed terror upon us, killing and mutilating all they came upon. Their great dogs tore at our flesh. It was as if our entire nation would be sacrificed to the greed of the Spanish. Then the great plague struck us down. One of the conquerors, one of the Spaniards, had brought smallpox to the New World, and no one was immune to it, so that people died in the streets People were sick at home, and there were so many people sick that there were not enough people to care for them. So people literally starved to death in their beds. Um, I would say at least half of the people of Tenochtitlan died of smallpox in, within a year. Cortez, realizing the city was weakened beyond effective defense, began the final onslaught. He had brought up rigging and outfitted armed ships so that he could attack by land and water simultaneously. The Aztecs resisted ferociously, but the Spanish force of arms gradually wore away their resistance. Block by block and barrio by barrio, Tenochtitlan was literally destroyed and laid waste during this awful fighting. Tenochtitlan was a disaster, so gone was this great island city, which was the wonder of the world. It, it was nothing. And so finally was the land of New Spain delivered into the arms of our glorious King Charles V and its people surrendered to our Lord Jesus Christ. Broken spears lie in the roads. We have torn our hair in grief. The houses are roofless now, and their walls are red with blood. We have pounded our hands in despair against the adobe walls. For our inheritance, our city is lost and dead. We are crushed to the ground. We lie in ruins. There is nothing but grief and suffering in Tenochtitlan where once there was beauty and valor. Oh, gods, have you grown weary of your servants?
Most of the conquistadores convinced themselves that they had won a victory for Christianity and civilization over barbaric heathens. Others were not so sure. The slaughter that brought the Aztec world to its knees was every bit as bloody as the human sacrifices practiced by the Aztecs. And unlike the death on the sacrificial stone, there was no honor in the slaughter of Tenochtitlan. Within the space of two years, a whole civilization had been leveled and put to the torch. <laughs>